Hello, sixth graders, and happy Thursday. We have one more day to get ready for our Unit 5 test. Today, we're going to do a video to talk about all of the decimal operations that we've been using. I know you're going to do a great job, and so does Mr. Smiles. Let's dive right into our video. Go ahead and start by writing the Champion's Creed on the top of your paper. Believe it. I'm going to show you how great I am. Now let's talk about the first skill that we practiced, adding and subtracting decimals. When adding or subtracting decimals, the most important thing to do is line up the decimal points to make sure you're adding or subtracting in the same place value. So let's do an example together. 15 and 481 thousandths plus 2 and 7,549 ten thousandths. I'm going to line up the decimal points to make sure that I'm adding in the correct place value. I can place a zero behind the one to make sure that I have digits in every place. Now go ahead and add. What is the sum? The sum is 18 and 2,359 ten thousandths. Zero plus nine is nine. One plus four is five. Eight plus five is 13. One plus four plus seven is 12. One plus five plus two is eight. And then I have a one in the tens place. Now you try one. What's 3 and 571 thousandths plus 9,174 ten thousandths? Go ahead and solve that problem now. The correct answer is 4 and 4,884 ten thousandths. We also talked about subtracting decimals. The most important thing when subtracting decimals is still lining up the decimal point. Five is a whole number. Where should the decimal be placed? In the number five. Remember that the decimal always goes after the ones place. So I can write five and zero thousandths minus one and nine hundred twenty-seven thousandths. Now I can subtract. I can't take 7 from 0, so I have to borrow all the way from the 5. 4, 5 becomes a 4. 10, 10 becomes a 9. 10, 10 becomes a 9. And 10. Now go ahead and subtract. What's 5 minus 1 and 927,000? The correct answer is 3 and 73 thousandths. Now you try one on your own. What's 6 minus 975 ten thousandths? Go ahead and solve that problem now. The correct answer is 5 and 9025 ten thousandths. We also talked about decimal addition and subtraction word problems. Let's read the first example. James made brownies. He used 352 thousandths cups of sugar and 1 and 7 tenths cups of flour. What is the total number of cups of ingredients he used? First, what operation do I need to solve this problem? I need to use addition. James is putting together ingredients. Go ahead and solve that problem now. The correct answer is 2 and 52 thousandths cups of ingredients. How many more cups of flour than cups of sugar did he use? What operation do I need to solve this problem? This is a subtraction problem because I'm comparing amounts. Go ahead and solve that problem now. The correct answer is 1 and 348 thousandths more cups. We also talked about multiplying decimals. Remember, when we multiply decimals, we can count the number of digits behind the decimal point. Get that down in your notes. In the factors. And to ensure the correct place value, the product should have the same number of digits behind the decimal point. So let's look at an example together. 4 and 5 tenths minus 2 and 9 tenths. 4 and 5 tenths times 2 and 9 tenths. 
first, how many digits are going to be behind the decimal in my product? Well, there's one, two. Now I can multiply like normal. What's nine times five? It's 45. What's nine times four? It's 36. Plus four more is 40. What do I do now? I need to drop a zero to multiply in the tens place. What's two times five? It's 10. What's two times four? It's eight plus one more is nine. Now I can add my partial products. When I do that, I get 1,305. Where should I place the decimal in my answer? I need two digits behind the decimal, so the correct answer is 13 and 5 hundredths. One, two. Let's do another one. What's 13 and 71 hundredths times 39 hundredths. First, how many digits are going to be behind the decimal point in my answer? Well, there's one, two, three, four. Now I can multiply like normal. What's nine times one? It's nine. What's nine times seven? It's 63. What's nine times three? It's 27. Plus six more? is 33. What's 9 times 1? It's 9 plus 3 more is 12. I'm done with the 9 so I can drop my 0. What's 3 times 1? It's 3. What's 3 times 7? It's 21. What's 3 times 3? It's 9 plus 2 more is 11. What's three times one? It's three plus one more is four. Now I can add my partial products. When I do that, I get 53,469. Where should I place the decimal point in my answer? I should place it between the five and the three. I need one, two, three, four digits behind the decimal. Now you try a few. What's 57 thousandths times 9 hundredths? First, how many digits are going to be behind the decimal? Well, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Good. Now multiply and place the decimal correctly. Let's see how you did. 9 times 7 is 63. 9 times 5 is 45 plus six more is 51. I need five digits behind the decimal, so I need to place two zeros in front of my number, and the answer is 0.00513, 513 hundred thousandths. Now do the next three on your own. What's five and 497 thousandths times one and five tenths? Go ahead and solve that problem now. The correct answer is 8 and 2,455 ten thousandths. Check your work with mine. Now let's do another one. 56 hundredths times 2 and 3 tenths. Go ahead and solve that problem now. The correct answer is 1 and 288 thousandths. Check your work with mine. Let's do one more problem. What's 75 thousandths times 23 hundredths? Go ahead and solve that problem now. Check your work with mine. We also talked about whole number division. Remember, now that we're in sixth grade, we're going to write all remainders as decimals. I can add a decimal point and two zeros after any problem. When I divide, first, I'm going to list the multiples of the divisor. 
Then I'm going to identify the correct place to start my division. I'm going to follow the steps of the standard algorithm. Divide, multiply, subtract, bring down. Let's start with an example. 969 divided by 17. Remember 969 goes inside and 17 goes outside. Let's start by listing our multiples of 17. Go ahead and list your multiples of 17 on your paper, then enter them in the computer. Check your multiples with mine. Now, where can I start dividing? I can start dividing in the tens place. I can't split 900s, but I can split 96 tens. How many times does 17 go into 96? 17 goes into 96 five times. What's 5 times 17? It's 85. When I subtract, what do I have left over? I have 11. I can bring down my 9. How many times does 17 go into 119? 17 goes into 119 seven times. 7 times 17 is 119, so there's no remainder. The answer is 57. Now we're going to try two problems where we'll have a decimal remainder. Go ahead and write 3,234.0 inside and 132 outside. Bring the decimal point straight up. The first thing we need to do is list the multiples of 132. Go ahead and list the multiples of 132 on your paper, then enter them on the computer. You can check your work with mine in just a moment. Check your multiples with mine. Now we can start dividing. First, what place are we going to start dividing in? We're going to start dividing in the tens place. Now that you're set up to solve your problem, go ahead and solve now. The correct answer is 24 and 5 tenths. Check your work with mine. Now let's try another problem. 195 divided by 52. Go ahead and write 195 and 0 hundredths divided by 52. Bring your decimal point straight up. Now take some time to list the multiples of 52. Write them on your paper and enter them on the computer. Check your multiples with mine. Where are we going to start dividing in this problem? We're going to start in the ones place. Go ahead and solve this problem now. The correct answer is 3 and 75 hundredths. Check your work with mine. We also talked about dividing by decimals. Remember, to divide by a decimal, multiply the dividend and the divisor by the same number to create a whole number problem. Then list the multiples of the divisor, identify the correct place to start dividing in, and follow the steps of the algorithm. Divide, multiply, subtract, bring down. Let's start by dividing decimals by whole numbers. What's 198 and 8 hundredths divided by 8? Go ahead and solve that problem now. The correct answer is 24 and 76 hundredths. Solve another one. What's 22 and 512 thousandths divided by 6? Go ahead and solve that problem now. The correct answer is 3 and 752 thousandths. Now we're going to try two decimal division problems. Let's start with 21 and 44 hundredths divided by 3 and 2 tenths. First, I need to create my new problem. How many times do I need to move the decimal? I need to move the decimal one time. So my new problem is 214 and 4 tenths divided by 32. Now I can list the multiples of 32. Go ahead and do that now. Check your multiples with mine. Now let's decide the correct place to start dividing in. We'll start in the ones place.
Go ahead and solve this division problem now. The, cor the correct answer is 6 and 7 tenths. Check your work with mine. Let's do one last problem. 22 and 23 hundredths divided by 2 and 34 hundredths. How many times do I need to move the decimal? I need to move the decimal twice. Once, twice. Once, twice. I'm going to create a new problem. 2,223 and 0 tenths divided by 234. Now list the multiples of 234. Check your work with mine. Now go ahead and solve this division problem. When you're finished, check your work with mine. The correct answer is 5 and 9 tenths. The correct answer is 9 and 5 tenths. Check your work with mine. You've done a great job on this video. Now go to IXL Practice H.7.